Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice cubic equation. x cubed minus x squared plus 4x is equal to 120. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start by moving this negative x squared plus 4x to the right side. At left side left, this x cubed is equal to this negative x squared becomes positive x squared at the right side and this plus 4x becomes negative 4x at the right side plus this 120. Next x cubed is equal to now we want to make this x squared minus 4x a perfect square. To make this expression a perfect square, we add and subtract 4 in this expression. Like this, x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus 4 plus 120. Next, x cubed is equal to x squared minus we can write this 4x as 2 times x times 2 plus and we can write this 4 as 2 squared and this uh, negative 4 plus 120 is equal to plus 116 next x cubed is equal to by using this algebraic identity a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a minus b whole squared. We can write this expression x squared minus 2 times x times 2 plus 2 squared as x minus 2 whole squared plus this 116. Now here we have x cubed and nearest cube to this 116 is 125 that is equal to 5 cubed. So to make this 116 125 we add 9 to both sides like this x cubed plus 9 is equal to x minus 2 squared plus 116 plus 9. Next x cubed plus 9 is equal to x minus 2 squared plus 116 plus 9 125. Now we move this uh, 125 to the left side and this 9 to the right side like this x cubed this plus 125 becomes negative 125 at the left side is equal to x minus 2 whole squared this plus 9 becomes negative 9 at the right side. Next, x cubed minus, we can write this 125 as 5 cubed is equal to x minus 2 squared minus, this 9 can be written as 3 squared. Now here we have a difference of two cubes. So by using this algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. This x cubed minus 5 cubed can be factorized as x minus 5 times 
x squared plus 5x plus 25 is equal to and here we have difference of two cubes so by using this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b this x minus 2 squared minus 3 squared can be factorized as x minus 2 plus 3 times x minus 2 minus 3 next x minus 5 times x squared plus 5x plus 25 is equal to x negative 2 plus 3 is plus 1 times x negative 2 minus 3 minus 5 now we move with this expression to the left side x minus 5 times x squared plus 5x plus 25 this positive expression becomes negative at the left side x plus 1 times x minus 5 is equal to 0 now as you can see this expression x minus 5 this expression x minus 5 is a common factor so we factor out this x minus 5 x minus 5 as a common factor and in bracket left in bracket left this x squared plus 5x plus 25 minus this x plus 1 in bracket left x squared plus 5x plus 25 minus this positive x becomes negative x and this plus 1 becomes negative 1 is equal to 0 next x minus 5 times x squared now this plus 5x minus 1x which becomes plus 4x and this plus 25 minus 1 plus 24 is equal to 0 now either this expression x minus 5 is equal to 0 or this expression x squared plus 4x plus 24 is equal to 0 from here x is equal to 5 this is the first value of x find other two values we solve this quadratic equation in this equation a is equal to 1 b is equal to 4 and c is equal to 24 and according to quadratic formula x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus square root of 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 24 divided by 2 times 1 next x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus square root of 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 1 times 24 96 divided by 2 times 1 2 and x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 96 negative 80 divided by 2 and x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus square root of 
this negative 80 can be written as 16 times 5 times negative 1 divided by 2 next x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus square root of 16 is 4 times square root of 5 and this square root of negative 1 square root of negative 1 is equal to i so we replace this square root of negative 1 with i divided by 2 and x is equal to now from here we can factor out 2 2 as a common factor and in bracket left negative 2 plus or minus 2 times square root of 5 times i divided by 2 now this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and from here we get 2 values of x x2 is equal to negative 2 plus 2 times square root of 5 times i and x3 is equal to negative 2 minus 2 times square root of 5 times i and first we found the value of x1 is equal to 5 so these are the three solutions of this equation this value of x1 is real and these two values of x are complex